Well, hello everyone. Good day to all of you. I hope that you all are doing well this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, let me see if I can look at that sunshine. And you guys, you know I'm not a big fan of sunshine. I was going to sit out on the deck, but it is hot outside. It is not feeling like fall weather here. Um, we got Gappy in her little spot. She always comes out here early in the morning in the sunshine. That's her time with the Lord, I always say. So I got her there. And we are going to come over here to the dining room table. And we're going to do a little bit of a haul. So, how are y'all? First, I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. The last time I looked, I had 500 subscribers because um, YouTube had informed me. And then now, I look and it was like, I think, 13 more subscribers? Or, or 10 more subscribers or something like that. I don't know. But I appreciate it so, so much. And I want to welcome you all to my channel. My channel, um, for those who don't know, I am like multifaceted. I have no set um, thing that I talk about. Um, I just share bits and pieces of my life with you. Um, I would like to share more, um, but that's dangerous because I can get into some deep conversations um, and just run my mouth, right? So I, I stick to, um, and I have created playlists. And so if it's, if you're interested in handbags, then I have a created playlist for that. If you're interested in ASMR, I have a playlist for that. If you're interested in faith, I have a playlist for that. And then I have off the cuff stuff that can be just anything, not even, not planned, you know? Um, and then of course I have um, this here, which is stationary. Stationary hauls, flip throughs. I don't do plan with me. But I do like to share with you items that I purchased that are stationary related. If you are interested in seeing other items that I purchase, like household items, or if you're interested in clothing or jewelry or makeup or any of those other things or fragrances, um, you would have to request that because I don't um, really share that. Um, so anyway... Um, I want to give a special shout out to, um, first of all, to all my OGs, my middle OGs and my noobs, always a shout out to y'all, but a special shout out to Sharif for that, for, uh, for the sweet, kind words, um, from her most recent video. Um, it's hard. I'm going to tell you, it's hard all day, every day. My eyes are filled with tears, literally. And I cry in my sleep. I wake up crying. I go to bed crying. I'll just bust out crying for no reason. And um, it's just weird. It's extremely weird. Um, just for no reason. Just bust out crying. And I wasn't even thinking about a particular thing. It just came out. Those of you who know me. Um, that been around for a while know that I have went years without crying. And I guess my body is saying, we're going to release these endorphins, whether you like it or not. You know, so every it's it's every day. It's every day. Um, I have to be careful what I think about. I have to be careful what I talk about because I will bust out crying. Um, I was watching the Watchman River. I watch him every morning. And on Sunday, he doesn't do his normal routine. On Sunday, he just prays. It's just prayer. And I couldn't sit through his prayer this morning because I was, that burning sensation was rising in my throat. And um, I just like, I can't do this. I just, I can't do this. Um, I have to say that 
you know, since, you know, um, what's been going on in my life, I have to honestly say that I have definitely drawn closer to the Lord. And it's been an incredible blessing, incredible blessing. And believe me when I tell you, I'm glad that things are the way that they are. They're the way that they need to be. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Um, but it's a lot because within one whole year, I've lost three pets. And also, um, my husband is dealing with his health. Um, you all know that he has this huge kidney stone that's taking up a large part, the majority of his kidney. And there is terrible side effects that come with that. And um, he has two surgeries, two outpatient surgeries this month. And um, the, the kidney stone surgery, he may not be able to come home. Um, and that's fine. So he's working his butt off, racking up sick leave, racking up vacay, and um, and he goes to work sick, you know, because he can't afford to take off. So he goes to work sick. People notice it. They know something's wrong, blah, blah, blah. Um... It's like, it's, it's a lot. It's a, let's just say it's a lot. And then it makes you wonder about your own mortality and, and your, how you're going to leave and what, what's around the corner for you. Um, you know, I had blood work done and it came back. Everything came back. Okay. Everything came back. Okay. Just okay. Um, but my glucose went up again. And I told y'all that I had been not eating sugars and staying away from certain things. But you know what? It's I, I can't do it no more, y'all. I'm, I'm literally at my wits end. I cannot live off of fruits and vegetables and nuts. I, I just can't. It, you're going to have to put me in a controlled environment for that to happen. And watch me punch my fist into the walls. <laughs> you know, so it is what it is. You know, um, we were looking at old pictures. Have you ever done that, y'all, where you just look back at your younger pictures, the days where you were full of vitality and all that stuff? I can't do that no more. <laughs> I said, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I am just not doing it. I'm sorry. You know, but um, it is it's it's a it's a process accepting who you are and living in the chapter of your life and this is a new chapter in my life and I refuse to spend my last days stressing over things that I believe I have no control over you know um so my birthday did not go good <laughs> it did not go good at all and um we just literally had to cancel out my birthday and do a rain check. But I said, no, I don't want to do a rain check. Let's just forget it. Let's just go home and go to bed and go to sleep. Um, so I don't want to talk about that. It's, it's too depressing and it's a beautiful Sunday and I don't want to depress you all. But... I did go ahead and I did book our um, hotel suite for our wedding anniversary and we're headed back to Ocean City and this time it's not going to be just for one day. We have no reason to rush back home. We booked it for two days, three days, two nights and we're just going to hang out in Ocean City and we're just going to live like we're dying, <laughs> you know, that type of thing. And I look forward to that. I look forward to it. I really, really do. And I plan, God willing, I plan for us to go to Ocean City once every month. 
You understand what I'm saying? Back the way it used to be. Off season in the winter time is the best time to go to Ocean City. Now, if you're heavily into the shops, then you're going to want to go, you know, like September, October. But I've already bought enough stuff from Ocean City. I'm not there for the shops. I'm literally there for the ocean and the relaxation. Um, sensations are always open all year round. So there's always something on Coastal Highway. But um, that's what we're working on. I'm saving money so that I can spend... I can go to Ocean City for October, November, and December. Now, this is all if Gary's surgery is a success and everything is fine, you know. Um, so that's how that is. And I'm happy about that. So that's something to look forward to. And then, of course, in January, if the Lord doesn't if the Lord tarries then we'll go back to Ocean City for Gary's birthday you know but we're just like gonna make up for last year and the year before so we got a plan God willing um so that's that's how that is um anyhow let me go ahead on and share with you all um what's going on with my little haul thing here um this came from a shop in Etsy on Etsy and um it's called let me see here Dreamy Candles and this is from Tea Stationery and she this lady is in the Netherlands a place I would love to visit I would love to visit Alaska Finland the Netherlands, I would love to visit all of those places. Iceland, all of those cold weather places. Switzerland, um, my ancestors are from Finland. So I definitely would love to go there. So this came from the Netherlands and I just love how beautiful these candles are. They complement any journal. Um, let's see here. So there's that. I'm trying not to trying to angle this so that you guys don't get such a glare. Let me see here. There we go. That's a little better. And then this was the freebie. But anyhow, what else is going on that I can share with you all? Um I I, I tell y'all it's funny. I'm always making some type of mess seriously like I go to put eggs in my mouth and then I miss my mouth and drop the eggs on the floor or I'll go to grab something and it'll slip right through my hands um what else I'm I found out that I pronounced some pronounced some words wrong I was like it's like dy dyslexia type situation that's going on like I found out that there were some words that I've been all this time pronouncing wrong um, somebody said that um, Habakkuk in the Bible is Habakkuk, not Habakkuk. And I'm like, okay, tomato, tomato. Um, Stamperia, and I called it, um, it's Stamper, Stamper, Stampera, and I said Stamperia. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys, if you hear me pronounce anything wrong, or if I give you any misinformation, or I mislabel a kit that I got from <laughs> Black Mountain Plants, feel free to correct me. I welcome it. I really do. Um, I'm a mess. It, it's 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 crazy. I I'm just a mess, and I'm just like I need to lighten up on myself. This is what Gary said. You just lost someone that was closer to you than a mother. Give yourself some time. Relax. Slow down. Take a deep breath. You know, and just allow yourself to mourn. You know, this isn't your first rodeo, you know, and that's what I need to do. I need to, to be kinder to myself. And as far as eating, guys, I've been eating whatever the heck I want. 
and I'm paying for it. But it's like, you know, what can you do? What can you do? I'm just, I just, I don't know. I can't put it, I can't put words into it. But I know that I put on a few more pounds. Not a lot, but I did put on a few more pounds. And um, I'm just not going to stress over it. My clothes still fit, thank God. You know, um, but I just don't look as good or as nice in them as I used to. And it is what it is. I have a doctor's appointment over the phone on Tuesday. I would love to go back on Manjaro. Um, I would I, I would love to just have some help, but we we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. I would love to go back on Manjaro at a low dose, two point five, you know, and stay on that two point five until it plateaus you know that might be five hundred dollars a month you know and I don't want any extra bills we paid off all of our bills you know what I'm saying so the last thing I want to do is accumulate bills but I feel like if I don't do something if I don't get some kind of help um and talk to my doctor and and get to see what is available and what can be done for me to help me out um, it would be great. It would be great, you know. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, I can get Manjaro. It, that's not a problem. But I just need, you know, I need it to be less expensive. Um, let's see. And so that's that's what that is. I don't know what made me start talking about that. But this is a chit chat video with a share, not a share with a chit chat. This is a chit chat video with a share. All right. So I love these beautiful candles, y'all. I really do. Oh, man. Okay. Now we're going to go now and check out Cute Cut Craft. I have not purchased from them in a long time. But I saw this. Um, Lori Dean Plans had did a haul from Cute Cut Craft. Now that was the freebies. Oh, check that out so you can get 15% off. Um, and then, oh, isn't that cute? All right. And then this is another freebie. So I haven't been to Cute Cut Craft in a while and I ordered this. Because of some the pretty flowers, the daisies that I saw on Lori Dean plans. And of course I had to get, I think this is Paige. I forgot. Let me see. Um, I think her name is Paige. Um, and of course I had to get the one with her hugging the cat. Which you guys know I've already purchased before. But I purchased this a long time ago. So now for me to see it, it kind of saddens me. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this here. All right. Isn't that pretty? These are large borders. And it's just so inviting. It reminds me of Winnie the Pooh movie. You know, I can see the... <laughs> The rabbits and piglet and all of them frolicking through the grass and going past this little fence. And now here's a different version. These are the smaller. And this I fell in love with. Oh my gosh. I have been looking for these birdhouses for months. Um, a, I forgot the name of it. But I got it on eBay and I shared it with you guys. And it was um, this whimsical bees and bird houses. And I have never been able to find them since. And so there it is. And then I stumbled upon this at Cute Cut Craft. Look at that. Isn't that so refreshing? 
it oh my gosh i love this 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 relaxes me this reminds me of a saturday morning cartoon like pink panther or something on pbs um oh my gosh i love it i love the colors the blues and the plums so i will definitely be getting this again from cute cut craft um let's see oops okay so i bought three of those and i will definitely purchase them again and they go so well with the fences but this is what i saw uh lori dean plans she had these and she made such a beautiful spread with them okay and here is that same thing again isn't it pretty and then here's the other version so you have the large and you have regular and so that's nice and I love these colors wasn't feeling the uh, spider webs but I think this is part of a Halloween um, kit but I love the colors I love the plum roses it's so beautiful the spiders and the webs I can do without but this is the rip torn so I can tear off what I don't want so y'all head on over to cute cut craft and use that 15% off um, code and get you some nice uh, stickers all right so now we're going to head on over here to ah, plan anything and I ordered this a long time ago and she's having a sale right now at least I think she is still having a sale but um, I had to get this this is a nice thick book we've got 44 stickers and although summer is like headed out doesn't matter to me right I love this let me use my other hand hold on um this hand right here I don't know if I have a carpal tunnel issue with it but it it I you lose feeling in it so easily I mean it's I, it's, it's something's wrong and <laughs> It's been like that for years. If I'm on the elliptical or if I'm holding something, this hand just goes numb real fast. Um, so just holding the selfie stick made my fingers go numb. That's whatever. All right, so here I'm falling apart, y'all. It's time for a new body, don't you think? All right, so here we go. This is all on clear. And this would just be so nice in a journal. Loving these. Um, loving these. All of this is on clear. Isn't that pretty? I'm not a tropical vibe. That's really not my thing. But I love the the beach. You know, that's what I bought it for. And I love her boxes because her stickers are removable. You know, her um, box stickers. Oh, goodness, we used to lay down. All right. So you get two of these on paper. And I spilled glue on my hand. So if you see that, <laughs> that's glue as nail glue I need to do my nails the right way all right look at that isn't that beautiful I love that so we get two pages of that and then we got these that are on clear I hear someone in the hallway it might be my groceries I made Gary some jambalaya. Y'all like jambalaya? I love jambalaya. So I love that. That is beautiful. The boat, 
reminds me of us when we used to go sailing. Oh man, I can't help it. I gotta brag about <laughs> I gotta brag about that. If you have never went sailing, please go sailing. Now I've never been on a boat like that. Now I want, but I've never been on a boat like that. But I've been on sailboats. And I've been on cruise ships, and that's it. And there's so much more to explore. I'm grateful for YouTube, guys. I'm telling you, because on YouTube, you can go to Switzerland, you can go to Ireland, you can go to Iceland, you can go to Alaska. I watch videos of people who are blessed to, to go those places because their health is good and... You know, women who are like 70 years old who are going on these trips to these nice places that I dream to go to. And because of YouTube, I'm able to go there in the comfort of my own home. You know, I mean, it's nothing like actually experiencing it, but I'm thankful that there are people who are and that they share it. So that they, you can get a piece of it too. So I'm grateful for that. And these are all on clear. And then we have more of the boxes and circles. And we have the backyard barbecue. <laughs> all right. And then we have more boxes. This is so pretty. These are swirly swirly. <laughs> For those who don't know, I hate swirly swirly flowers. It's the artwork. See that? And I, I don't like that artwork. Um, but that wasn't a good, here's a good example right there swirly swirly but it you know what I've said it before you may not like the artwork but it is still pretty and you can still make a pretty spread out of it I have seen some of these girls take the ugliest stickers and make them into the most beautiful spreads you have ever seen you understand so It's just crazy. So we got the camping. So yeah, this book is still on sale. It's a thick book. Oh wow, check that out. And a lot of these stickers I have no use for, but I'll make use for them. Because I don't like to trash a lot of stickers. So yeah, this is called Summer Fun. 44 sticker sheets. So that's good. I like plenty thing. Um, now let's get to the meat of this video. All right, hold on a second. All right, I just want to make sure I was actually recording. All right, y'all know how I am about what I feel. Something has to have a feel. I love things that feel feel good in my hands and y'all know me I have to have something that has a good soft feel and this book oh my lord I highly recommend this book it was from Amazon and I think I think it was it was either $9.99 or it was $13.99 and it's a wide variety and it's this soft velvety oh my gosh oh my lord i love it it's so 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 soft and it is thick it is 360 pages i believe and look at that is that not gorgeous and it comes in all different colors sheree if you're watching i know this is something you would like um look at that now this is what i don't like i don't like the fact that it's dot it's not dot grid i prefer dot grid but 
I, this gives me an excuse to put washi above that top to cover up those words. And there's space here for bottom washi. And it's the signatures, the way it's sewn in. Do you notice how it easy it is to get it to lay flat? You don't have to use those, you know, clamps if you don't want to. It's, I love the quality of this book. I wish that the paper was white. Um, so that means when I put a sticker on it, unless it's a clear sticker um, or washi sticker, um, that white is going to show up. And that's the only thing I don't like. But it's, it's fine. I'll, <laughs> I'll make it work. And you've got three of these little thingies. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a sticker on the bottom of these on each side and trim it up good and make it nice and pretty. And what I really, really like is look at this. You have, there's no stickers in it, but you've got a nice large pocket to put stickers in. And I love that. And not only do you have a band, you have two bands. So this book is designed for you to stuff. And you got a pencil um, holder. And you guys know me, I'm going to put one in the front because I'm going to have, I need one for my Tombow and then I need one for um, a pen. And I got to find a nice pretty pen to go with this. But I love this book and I'm going to let y'all know I'm going to get another one. <laughs> I'm going to get another one and I'm going to set it on the shelf with the rest of my bujos and whatever you want to call it with the rest of my books and just pull it out there. And, you know, um, I like the idea of whatever mood you're in is what journal you pull out. You know what I mean? Like before I write in the same journal every day the same journal and then when it's over with you pull another one and put the, a new one in the case in your folder or whatever and then you do that but it's that same one you pull off the shelf but thanks to possum patty and sheree i realized why limit yourself get a collection of 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 books and journals and whatever you feel like pulling out on that day then that's the one that you use. That way you keep it fresh. You give yourself variety. You give yourself options and it never gets boring and it never gets stale. And though you don't, you may not ever finish filling this book out completely. It doesn't matter. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to finish it out real, real quick or nothing like that. So, and this being as thick as it is and such a great feel to the touch, you know, I'm not going to be in a hurry to fill that out. Um, so I like that. And then the other thing I like about it is scripture writing. Now, I don't do scripture writing. And I don't highlight and mark in my Bible. I used to. But then I got a new Bible like years ago. And I said, I'm not going to write in it or mess it up. I'm just going to use stickers and dots and underline words of the father in red in the Old Testament. And that's as far as I'm going to go, but I'm going to load up on notes, note taking, scripture references, and then go through those notes, you know, and do it that way. Um, because I've damaged <laughs> I've damaged some of my old study Bibles. I really have. And I had to, I ended up donating them. And I said, well, I'm going to find another way. I love a marked up Bible because like they say, you know, it's being used, but I just have a new system. And, and I've learned, you know, that even that you can use a variety of note taking, you know, that I learned from Cherie, you know, you can use index cards and and you can put it inside of the Bible you know and that would be like a little bookmark and when you open up the Bible to that page you've got that little index card stuck in there and you know this is what has to do with this you know so hey 
there's other alternatives. And I love that. You know, I, I absolutely love that. So that is it, guys, for today. Hop on over to Amazon. And I don't even know. Wait a second. I don't see a name. <laughs> what did I do to find this? I, I typed in A5 Journal. That's what I typed in my Amazon was A5 Journal. And, I, and they came up with a whole bunch of different journals. There's even one that has the Tree of Life on it. And it comes in a really dark hunter green, very masculine looking. Um, but you can get that in different colors. Um, so head on to Amazon and f find you this book. Um, and it says on it like PU leather, but it's, it's, this is not PU. This is soft, sweet something. It, it feels like velvet. It really does. So check that out. They should be either $9.99 or $13.99. Um, and let me know if you get it. And let me know if you like it. And I will go ahead and see y'all in the next video. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your patience. Um, I appreciate it all. I'm so far from perfect, y'all. I'm an amateur at all of these things that I'm doing. But yet y'all are still here. Y'all hear me, you hear my mistakes, you you hear my flaws, um, and y'all are still here with me. And I am grateful for that. Thank you for accepting me for who I am, and I accept you for who you are. Thank you, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Do y'all realize, oh God, I, hear, I feel the tears coming. Do y'all realize that I communicate with you all more than anybody else outside of Gary. There is no one else in my life other than Jesus and Gary that I communicate with on a daily basis. And I know what you're going to say. You created that prison for yourself. Yes, I did. And for good reason. But I just want to let y'all know, thank you for being here. Thank you. And please know that I appreciate you. Every view that I get, I am grateful for. And I want you to know it, and I mean it sincerely. I'm not just saying it. I mean it. So y'all be blessed, and I will see you real soon. God willing, I'll see you real soon.